Today we're going to explore that it's not our abilities, but our decisions that will determine who we become. That's the only way to Can you think of a situation where someone who was less qualified, had less knowledge or less ability, actually succeeded more than the people who seem to have the knowledge, the qualifications, or the abilities? There's a rule in life that it's not always the person with the most abilities who's going to succeed. It's the person who wants it most. Simple formula. Decision plus focus plus consistency of purpose equals success. Quite simply, when a person decides they're going to achieve something and when they focus all of their energies on it and they have a compelling reason that's driving them forward and they maintain consistency, the universe moves with them to bring into place the circumstances, the situations, the people to help them become successful. How do you define success? I want to be very clear on this also. A lot of times when people are listening to personal development speakers, as soon as they hear them mention success, they look at it from a financial or a business standpoint. Success can be in your health. Success can be in your relationships. Success can be in your hobbies. Success is how you define it. What do you define as being successful? The point that I really want to stand here and, and make to you is that you ultimately are the one who decides whether you're going to succeed or not. Before you begin, you make that decision. Now, people will counter and say, well, when it comes to sports, you know, aren't there people who are just more physically capable? Yes, they are. And the person who wants it most will still beat out the person who may have more physical ability. I want to refer to a quote by Roger Bannister. You may be familiar with him by his breaking the four-minute mile. Up until Roger ran the four-minute mile, no one else had done it. And Roger said this, The man who can drive himself further once the effort gets painful is the man who will win. Now, this is the man who, until he broke that barrier, no one else had ever come close to. And shortly after he broke that barrier... People were running the four-minute mile all over the world, and some even faster than Roger. So right there is a prime example that he wasn't the one with the most ability, but he was the one that had the most belief in himself and the ability to do it. Your decisions that you make will determine the outcome of your life. I'll give you an example of my own personally. In 1992, I had been making a living through music being a musician, singing, performing. And I had some things happen where that changed. As a matter of necessity, I was offered a job as a DJ in a club in South Jersey. And because of my background as a musician and my ability to speak, within a matter of months, I had two other clubs competing to hire me, offering me more money and more shifts. And I made a decision. If I was going to walk away from a music career that I've been working on and do this DJing thing, I would only do it if I would commit to becoming the best. And the measure of success was to be working in New York City, which was an hour and a half north of where I was, at the best clubs in New York City. And that's what I set my goal as. Within three years, I was working in New York City. Within four years, I was one of only four people qualified to work one of the longest running and biggest clubs on Broadway in New York City. Now, I wasn't the best DJ in the world. I'm going to totally cop to that. Wasn't the best DJ in the world. But I did make the decision and I wanted it the most. So I did what it took to get to that position. I also want to say that it wasn't all me. I truly believe that when you make a decision, when you make a commitment, the universe works with you to make it happen. The challenge is, the reason most people don't see success and most people don't see results, is they change your mind somewhere along the way. And then they lose out on all the things that were coming to support them in that journey. 
So what I'd like to ask you to do right now is to take a moment and think about some area of your life that you've been holding yourself back because you believe you lack the knowledge, you lack the qualifications, or you lack the ability. Sit down right now and think about how your life would be if you actually did step up, make the decision to commit yourself to it, focus your energies, and stay consistent with that decision until you achieved it. What would your life be like? Paint a picture for yourself. You don't have to make the decision to change your job right now, but I do ask you to explore the possibilities. Inspire yourself to take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.